called Boo Wafoo. It's the Crab Brothers! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come on, let's go! Me and you and the Boo Crocodilian. Hey, everybody! I love swimming with sharks. Oh, yeah. Did you know that sharks have lived on Earth for millions of years? They were around even before the dinosaurs roamed the planet. And that's way before humans showed up. And the awesome part is that they haven't changed that much in all that time. Some creatures just never change. What's this? We weren't expecting a package. Wait, yes, we were. This must be the part for fixing the time machine. Of course. Let's call Zabu. He'll help us open it. Zabu! 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 That's him over there. Come on in, buddy. Hey, Zabu! He's here. Hey, Zabu! You want to help us fix the time machine? We just got the part we needed to fix it. You know Zabu, no greets till he eats. I know just what a leaping lemur likes. Walnuts. Leap over here, buddy. <laughs> there you go, Zab. He loves walnuts. Give me. Machine, it's fixing time. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the part? I'm ready to help here. Brothers, hurry up. Yeah, it's a lot of control panel. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it goes right in there. Yeah. Yep. Right in oh, here. Careful of my nose. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I sure hope it's working all right now. Yeah, you don't want to be in a time machine that doesn't work right. Manga, Sika, fixing things can sure make a lemur belly hungry. <laughs> I love walnuts. They're so nutty, and their round shell is all wrinkled like... <gasps> like a creature I saw today. Dulcinza. Can you guess? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, when I saw him, he low belly crawl into the water. Wow! Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh God's God. Oh God's God. Animal. His mouth was huge with lots of spiky white teeth. Do you know who he is? A low belly crawl. Lots and lots of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Martin got splashed by a manga tzika. American alligator. <laughs> nice splash. Manga tzika, mystery animal is here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun splashing around like that. get in on that. Watch me, brothers! Watch how I get in. I call this my full twisting leaping lemur half cack dive! Bob away! I 
smell mud. <laughs> Sabu, it's a good thing because you don't want to jump in the water with an alligator. You always have to give a creature a space, especially an alligator. He can be one dangerous creature. He has a big mouth. It's great for grabbing all kinds of prey. And he can open it wide. An alligator's a great swimmer and can be 16 feet long. That's twice as long as your bed. This is one powerful creature you gotta love, but you don't wanna mess with. Wow, she's incredible. She must be eight feet long. That's about twice as long as me. <laughs> I think it's four Zabu's long. Hmm. And look how her body is covered in scales. You have big scales along her back, and then the scales become like triangles down her tail. And then all around her arms right here, the scales get really small. Wow, I don't have any scales. I have fur. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at her eyes. Yeah, she has two eyelids, Sabu. One is clear for seeing uh -huh. underwater, uh -huh. and the other is like yours and mine. Wow. Chris, Chris, look at her feet. She's got long claws. Yeah, aren't they incredible? Those huh. claws, they're for digging. And between her fingers, you can see webbing. That helps her swim. Wow. All right, now take a really close look at the alligator. She's completely underwater, right? Mm -hmm. Except for one part. Her nostrils, they just stick a little bit out of the water so she can stay hidden underwater but still breathe. Oh, good idea. That way she doesn't have to hold her breath the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Zabu, look at that tail. Uh -huh. That tail is about half of the alligator. Wow. That tail helps her swim through the water and helps her splash Martin. Yeah, that's how she did it. Oh, Chris, Martin, I got an idea. I'm gonna call her Whipper, cause her tail's so good at whipping around. <laughs> Excellent name, Zabu. Whipper the alligator. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. There's somebody else here. Yeah, and you look just like Whipper. But you're smaller. You must be a baby. Hey, guys, guys, look. I found a baby alligator. Wow. That's right, Zabu. She's a young one. She's probably only about a year old. Oh, Manga Sika. You're neat. I'm going to call her Whippet. <laughs> well, isn't Whippet really prehistoric looking? Prehistoric? Like a dinosaur. <gasps> guys, guys, guys. My mind just got an idea. I'll bet Whippet was around when dinosaurs were around. Well, actually, No, 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 don't tell me. I'm gonna figure this out myself. Hey, maybe you can help. What do you think, the time machine? Yeah, wow. Okay, brothers, let's use the time machine to go back millions of years. <laughs> Sounds like a trip to me. Well, I think Whippet and I should stay here and make sure the time machine gets you back okay. All right, Sabu, start it up. Okay. Time to time travel. We're traveling through time. Here you go, guys. Where'd they go? It worked. They're somewhere in the past. But where is the past? Oh, there they are. Hey, you're back in dinosaur time. Oh, the time machine says that's caveman language for cavemen weren't around when dinosaurs were, but Chris and Martin are different. They're time-traveling cavemen. <laughs> hey, brothers, you see any alligators? Oh, a duck-billed dinosaur, yeah. Duck-billed dinosaurs? <laughs> a giant alligator. <laughs> Guys, I was right. Alligators were around back then. Except they're as long as a bus. <laughs> well, don't worry, brothers. I'll bring you back to the present. Okay. Hurry! <laughs> You're back! Yeah! That was amazing! And you know, you were right. The alligators did roam around during the time of the dinosaurs. Except they were super huge. But everything else about them stayed pretty much the same. Hmm. And there aren't many creatures you can say that about. But you can say that about the sea turtle. Her kind has been around for millions of years, just like her cousin, the snapping turtle, who lives in rivers and lakes, not the ocean. And speaking of water, a lot of ocean creatures haven't changed much, like a jellyfish. And of course, the awesome shark. 
And don't forget about insects. They haven't changed much for millions of years either, like a dragonfly. And this beetle buddy, the cockroach. Second, if Whipper's in the pool and Whippet's in the pond, who are you? Well, I know I'll call you Whippersnapper, but who are you? Are you Whipper's brother? He's not Whippet's brother, Zabu. He's another type of crocodilian. Crocodilian? You got it, buddy. Whippersnapper is a caiman, and Whippet is an alligator. But both are reptiles in the family of crocodilians. You see, there are different types of crocodilians in the crocodilian family. For example, there's the spectacled caiman. Then there's American alligators like Whipper. And of course, there's the powerful Nile crocodile. My mind's confused. How can you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Great question, Zabu. When an alligator or caiman has his mouth closed, you can't see any teeth sticking up from his lower jaw. But when a crocodile closes his mouth, you can see some teeth sticking up from his lower jaw. See them in those grooves? Think about it like this, Sabu. Hmm. You're a safaka lemur, right? Yeah. And little leaper is a ringtail lemur. Oh, yeah? Oh, so we're both part of the lemur creature family. And, and alligators and caimans are part of the crocodilian family. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Get really low on your belly. Walk like a caveman. Chris is part of the crocodilian family. Family? Hey, that reminds me of one time in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap. Leap, leap, when I bumped into Sensit. Oof! Oh, hi, Sabu. Hi, Sensit. Oh, Sabu, I'm sad. Why, Sensit? Oh, because I don't know what kind of a creature I am. Oh. Well, gee, Sensit, oh, I thought you were in the oh. lemur family. Me? A lemur? No, oh, well, I do have grabby hands. Oh. That's right, uh, and you have big, big eyes, uh, too. Uh, and a nose that can really smell. Oh, that's right. I can really smell good. Oh. And you have amazing ears. Oh, that's right. That's right, and I love leaping. I must be in the lemur family. So let's do lemurs for the day. <laughs> leaping around the Bumafuasaurus. We had fun. <laughs> lemur fun. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was a good story, Zabu. Well, thanks. I'm a pretty good storyteller. I'm also a good time machine runner, and my mind is telling me that caimans were huge creatures in the time of the dinosaurs, too. You sure, Zab? Yep, yep. That's what my mind is telling me. Well, let's see if your mind is right. To the oh, time oh, machine! Oh, ah, to the time machine! <laughs> let's go, guys. Can't wait. Ready? Here we yep. go. <laughs> hey, it worked again! <laughs> see anything? No caimans anywhere. I guess the caiman type of crocodilian wasn't around with the dinosaurs. Uh oh. Well, those dinosaurs are close. That T Rex sees them. Whoa, he's after Martin and Chris. Oh, we better do something. Oh, well, no, it's blowing up. Oh, where's my drill? What's that smoke? Oh, no. Let me try this. Thanks, Sabu. That was close. I really didn't want to end up as T-Rex's dinner. Yeah, it's a good job I had my drill. But we did find out that some crocodilians were around during the time of the dinosaurs, and others weren't. Hey, guys, you know what? Whippet is in the pond, Whippersnapper is over there, and Whipper is out of the pool. That means I can go swimming. <laughs> hey, who? Hubba hubba. Here I come, in the water. <laughs> I feel kind of crocodilian-ish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. But well, this kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel crocodilian-ish. How about you, crocodilian-ish? 
I feel crocodilianish. Crocodilianish. I'm a cool crocodilian who's always been around. <laughs> Low on the ground. Crocodilianish. <laughs> I wish I could fix it for good. Duck? Oh no, a duck can't fix the time machine. Ducks are always late. No, duck! A golden eagle. I can't believe my mind. Your wings are longer than, well, than my whole body. Golden eagles have such huge wings. Her wingspan is six feet wide. Check it out. Whoa. Hey, and look what he left. A message from the animal helper. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. Hey, look what I found. Horseshoe crabs. These horseshoe crabs are incredible. They haven't changed in more than 300 million years. They were on the planet way before the dinosaurs. All of the horseshoe crabs come to this bay to meet. The males are the smaller ones. They grab onto the female's tail. The female lays her eggs on the beach in wet sand as she drags the males behind her. After the eggs are laid, the crabs go back into the water and swim away. And in a couple of weeks, the eggs hatch and the baby horseshoe crabs go into the water. Hey, turn off your motor, please. Horseshoe crabs are nesting here. You should always switch off your motor when you're this close to any water feature. If we want these amazing prehistoric creatures to stick around for the next 300 million years, we'd better give them their space. It's so, so manga -tsika. You know, Chris, I was thinking. I think what? you were thinking what I was thinking. Sounds like a trip to me. To the closet! <laughs> They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Righteous. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and Let's they're go. headed out the door. See you later, Zob. Bye. We're here in Africa, looking for one of the largest crocs of all, the Nile Crocodile. And when you're looking for creatures, the river's a great place to look. Hippos! Incredible. They're one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa. Hippos have one of the widest mouths around. Wow, hippos are incredibly territorial. They'll attack anyone who trespasses on their stretch of the river. So, we better give them their space. Let's paddle! He's after us! Go, Martin, go! I'm going! Whoa. Whoa. What was that? I don't know. But I do know one thing. We sprung the leak! The hippos are still on our tail. Bail out! Head for shore! It's close. Yeah, but these guys are even closer. Oh, the Nile crocodiles. They're everywhere. We have to make our way through this maze of crocodiles. Let's head that way, Martin. All right. Oh, we're right there. Chris, there's one right over there. There's one in the water here. Okay. So. <laughs> there's a big one over there. <laughs> there's Nile crocodiles everywhere. Let's head this way. <laughs> Luckily, these crocodiles are resting in the sunshine to bring up their body temperature, so we can slip right on by. Chris, I found a path. Come on. All right, let's see. Whoa. 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 Not going that way. Looks like they're eating something, Martin. Yeah. Crocodiles gather together whenever there's something to eat. They all get together and compete for the food. I don't think we're going to compete with them. Let's find a different place. Can't go that way either. There's gotta be a way through these crocs. Not that way. <laughs> that way. Whoa, big croc to the right. Shh, let's just slip right by him. Whoa. 
<laughs> Keep your eye for the cross. Watch out behind you. Looks like there's one more crocodile to get by, but he's a big one. Easy, easy. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> we made it through the maze of crocodiles. Let's head back to Animal Junction. Now all we have to do is watch out for lions. Yeah, they could be anywhere. Mm. Did you hear that? Yeah, just keep on walking, bro. I don't hear Sabu. Me neither. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Sabu. Oh, thanks, brothers. Look who's here. It's a giant hamster from millions of years ago. <laughs> He's not a giant hamster. He's not? <laughs> but, well, I thought that since Whipper was a lot bigger millions of years ago, that this must be a giant hamster visiting from a time machine. But, Sabu, the time machine's broken. Oh. So this is definitely for sure not a hamster. Nope. He's a capybara. <gasps> Capybara! Oh, Manga Tsika! My mind just remembered. I know you. You came to visit before. Uh, I just forgot because I thought you were a giant hamster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better not call you Hampy anymore. <laughs> How about I call you, uh, um, Cappy? Cappy the Capybara! <laughs> hey, look at the way he's sniffing. Yeah, yeah try it. <laughs> he kind of blows out his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, oh, he's cooling off his behind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sitting right in the mud. <laughs> you can tell he's happy now. Yeah, he's happy because the capybara needs mud and water for survival. The mud keeps his body temperature cool on hot days in South America, where he lives. A capybara lives in herds, and on a hot day, the whole family likes getting in on the action. Well, the capybara's finished wallowing in the mud, but we haven't even started. Everybody into the mud wallow. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mud's an important part of lots of creatures' lives. It feels good on hot skin and it protects them. And hey, it's fun to fall. Right, Chris? Yeah, I never pass up a good mud puddle. <laughs> How does it feel, Zabu? Yeah, and it feels so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know, copy bars love them up because it keeps them cool. It keeps the bugs from biting them. My Zika. <laughs> hey, Zabu. Yeah? Remember when you hit me with that mud ball? Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Chris? Oh, I got mud in my eyes. I can't see. There he is. <laughs> oh, All right. Oh, this is so relaxing. I see why you like it, Cappy. Cappy bears are very alert creatures. They're always on the lookout for predators, like black caimans who love to hunt them. Try walking like a Cappy bar. They got a really cool way of moving. Get into the Cappy bar moving groove. Right through the mud. <laughs> This reminds me of one time in Zabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 and then I saw something that made me not believe my mind. Baby Zabumafuasaurus was throwing something with his mouth, and that something was Sai again. Hey, Zabu, this giant lizard still thinks I'm a ball. Baby, Sai is not a ball. Uh, not a ball? And Sai, baby Zabumafuasaurus is not a big lizard. He's a dinosaur. A dinosaur? Well, they've been around for a really long time, haven't they? Yes, they have. But I can show you somebody who was in Zabu Land First. First in Zabuland, lead the way. It's Phoebe. She's been around hey. since Zabuland was all covered in water. Hey, Zabu. Hey, hey. Si. Do you want to come underwater and see what Zabuland used to look like? Well, sure. We'd all love to come look underwater. Yeah, okay. I want to come too. Whoa! So we all jumped in and saw what a great place Zabuland must have been when it was all covered in water. The end. <laughs> You and your pals in Zabuland sure have a lot of fun, huh, Zabu? Oh, yeah, we have fun a lot of the time. 
What am I saying? We have fun all the time. And time traveling was great. I'm just glad you got us back in time. Otherwise, we would have missed the capybara. Thanks, Sab. This animal is a friend of mine from the tip of his nose to his behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal a friend today. Bye, Bye Zabu. Zabu. Hey, and we better go and get a new part for our time machine. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Dylan, and this is a Banty rooster named Hans. 